Happy Thursday, Thursday, fish keepers. Wouldn't normally make a joke about getting mouthfuls of fish juice and doing water changes and stuff like that, but after yesterday, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think it's a little bit too soon for that kind of carry on. However, it's not too soon to tell you what's going on today. Start of the month means we've got a new fish of the month that is the beautiful African butterfly cichlid. Uh, so we've got a feature blog coming out with that, which is pretty gosh darn cool. Check it out on the website, thefishroom.co.nz. All going to plan, our Sierra order will arrive, which will mean some of these gaps on our shelves are no more. Our CKM order should arrive, so some of these gaps here will be filled as well. As long as the couriers are doing their job, we are away tickety-boo. Also got a small fish order coming in from people that have asked for some things for me to find, which I found a lot of them. Still some fish I'm still looking for for some people. But we've got a small fish order coming in, so when that turns up, we'll do a quick unboxing in this video to show you everybody what's going on. We've also got to get prepared for our Fanatics Friday coffee date tomorrow. We've got Stephen Scapes. He's going to be an absolute monster of a live stream. This dude is an incredible aquarist, an incredible aquascaper. If you're into that kind of thing, this one is absolutely going to be a blast. It's absolutely going to be for you. So you can check that out tomorrow at 8 a.m. New Zealand time live on the YouTube and Facebook. And time for today's Algorithm Engager. This is what we do every single video. What we're doing it for is get everyone to have a comment. I'm blatantly asking everybody to do this to help pick up the YouTube algorithm. I'm not hiding it. We're doing this so more people will see the Fanatics Friday Coffee Day because I think it is a phenomenal live stream. It is working, so thank you team. Today's Algorithm Engager, because we are talking to an aquascaper tomorrow, let's do a question about aquascaping. When you are setting up your aquarium, when you're scaping your aquarium, do you prefer to use wood or rock or maybe a combination as your hardscape? For me, I just can't seem to structure rock the right way. I just find it really hard to vision what I want with rock. But wood, on the other hand, I can see the wood. I look at the wood and go, that's what I want. I can twist this. I can adjust this. I can place this the way I want it. And wood just seems so much easier for me to use. So how about you? When you're setting up in your aquarium, are you a rock, a wood, or a combination person? Let us know in the comments down below. And thank you very much for engaging with the Algorithm Engager. Think from memory, all the water changes out the back have been done this week. So we'll jump in to the display tanks. So we'll get these cleaned up today. That's what the one, two, three, four, five, six to do today. Just as I was speaking, talking about that, I remember that I hadn't edited the video for the Blackwater Botanical Tank. I'm going to do that hopefully today, next couple of days, this week. Get done this week, I promise. One of the awesome fish room family members sent me the updated Corydoridine, Corydoridine, Corid the cool little catfish that everybody loves that have just had the whole name rechanged and all that kind of stuff from Corydoras to Hoplosoma. Look at that, I'm learning to say the words now. Anyway, they sent me that updated list the other day. Gave me a bit of wink wink nudge nudge saying I should probably start changing um, the listings that we've got for that. I was planning on doing it as we put those fish back in stock, but I might just go through and change all the listings of them straight away. So if I get time, I'll get it done today. Uh, question is, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. This is probably what I'm just internalizing a very complicated situation with. The former blogs that we've done on Corridor, Corridor, Corridoridine, Hoplosomas, Corridoras, what have you. Should we be adding the new name to them or should we let the Sleeping Dogs lay because we produced this work upwards of four or five years ago? Or should we be revisiting that, revising it because it is now factually incorrect? If that makes sense. Or is that just a scientific thing? I'm not sure. What do you think? Uh, the profiles of the fish that we're selling will 100% be changed to the correct naming, but should the old stuff we're doing also be changed and adjusted to, to what it is now, with a note saying the names have been reclassified and rechanged and that kind of stuff? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. As you can probably tell, I'm sitting at the computer at the front of the shop, at the counter as opposed to at the back of my office. I'm just running through the YouTube stuff, all the comments from yesterday. And we have now cracked 3,300. So congratulations to everybody 
thank you very much for being involved. Hugely appreciated. It's a massive thing. Uh, I did want to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I like to set quite large and lofty goals. But hey, you never know what's going to happen. So we'll see how we go. Either way, thank you very much. We've cracked 3,300. That is pretty cool. Thumbs up from me. Well, that's handy. Box of fish. Box of syrup. Box of sea cucumber, I'm assuming. Fantastic. Let's get them inside and crack them open. Oh, yeah, nah, bro. I don't want to come to work today. I'm not going to go. Stupid night. I don't think it's turned on at all this week. So, yeah, there's that. Happy days ish. Well, here we go. A small box of fish. Cardinals. Everyone's classic aquarium favourite. Looking a bit shaky in there at the moment. Not ideal. What else have we got? Ember Tetras. I'm a big fan of Ember Tetras. Mosquito Respora. Oh man. I wanted these ones for myself. Did I just say that out loud? I think I did. Uh, it's gutting. Not ideal. Not so good with a mosquito respirator. Bang of ear. So a parrot cichlid. Order for somebody. Another parrot cichlid. Again, order for somebody. Green fire tetras. I freaking love these things. It's ridiculously cool fish. Don't look like much until they get mature. Candidia cichlid. Oh, it's so little. Oops, not even in the camera. I was told they're quite small and they really are. So that's the checkerboard cichlid. Uh, another one. These are ordered in for somebody. And lucky last bag. The rest of the cardinals. So a couple of bags for shop stock. And a few bags for pre-ordered stuff. A bit disappointed about the chili rice bore, I'm not going to lie, because they were kind of for me. Don't say that too loud. Can't keep them all. I'll get all those fish uh, floating and acclimatised and all that kind of stuff over in the QT rack. And then I'll go through and we'll open up the boxes, all the Sierra stuff and that sort of stuff. Get all that inputted onto the computer. I'm also getting a box of locally bred better this afternoon as well. So that should turn up too. Uh, and we're good to go for that, so uh, we'll get some more fish showing off at the same time. And a few box of goodies. Some wood there, some general Sarah product in there. Uh, see came in through here. We get them processed, get them on the interwebs and get that done this morning. Semi surrounded by product. It's been a relatively busy morning and I'm a little bit behind and that's alright, that happens. Uh, unfortunately a little bit of damage on some of the stuff um, box that arrived in is quite damp and soggy uh, some of the boxes are a little bit damp and soggy a couple of the products are wet which is a shame but unfortunately that happens but yeah a little bit of Sierra stuff hanging about now we'll get it all locked and loaded on the website and we're away oh, okay mid-afternoon that's taken a bit longer than it probably should have few products here, a few products here, a few products there, products everywhere. It doesn't quite fill up the space that I expected it would. Uh, however, still got some stuff over there that is damaged and I'm working through with the supplier at the moment. So that should probably fill up these few gaps that I've got once we work that out. Uh, I'm going to go release... Oh yeah, and the wood. I'm uh, going to go release some fish from out the back, chuck them into the quarantine tanks, we'll get that sorted. Then we'll move on with the day, hoping to get these water changes done. Uh, there's definitely a couple other bits and pieces that are beginning to scream out with me internet wise that might need to get done first, but fingers crossed we can sort of wiggle it all and get it all sorted properly today. Water changes are being done. That's a happy day, is it? A little bit heavier on the tank tank than I was expecting, but that is a-okay. 
Alright, let's fill them all up. And our second box of goodies have arrived. Locally bred bitter. Holy heck, that is pretty. Wow. That was a nice looking fish. Oh, so was that. Oh, good golly gosh. Good golly gosh. Wow. These are very nice looking fish. Oh, wow. Not a huge bit of fan for me, it comes down to. Uh, Pretty colours as opposed to tail shape. Oh, wow. If you're in New Zealand or Nelson, you are in for a treat. These are some very, very pretty fish. Oh, camera's not quite showing up how metallic and shiny this fella is. Wow. Oh, wow. Seems to have been a little bit of a dynamic change here with the Jags and the Oscar over the last few days. Uh, beginning to wonder if these dudes are looking at having a wee spawn. They've clearly cleared out a bit of glass patch in there. And they've taken that little bit of the tank. And uh, this dude's been pushed around a little bit more. So we'll see. Equally also the air has stopped going into the tank because one of the buggers pulled the air hose off, so I might get my hands in there a minute and get that sorted as well. Cool! All fish that came in today are now in aquariums. And I think, as I look around out here, and in the shop, that every single body of water that is currently holding water, every single aquarium that's currently holding water, has at least one fish in it, in this building. I don't think there is any aquariums that have got water in it that don't have fish in it now. Because things like this one doesn't have water in it. So I can't have fish. And that one. Oh, that doesn't have any fish in it. Nearly every single potential body of water in this building has fish in it. I'm going to chuck some snails in there, so I'm going to claim them as fish tomorrow. And then every body of water has got something living in it. There we go. Has got something living in it. How good. Right, if you made it to the end, please join us tomorrow for Fanatics Friday Coffee Day. It's going to be an absolute ripper. Have a good one, team. Happy fish keeping. Catch you later.